Yo, YouTube and Tune Gaming here back with another video. It's been like a week since the last one, and I have a really good excuse. Um, okay, I don't really have a good excuse. I mean, does health, health issues count? Yeah, that should count. Yeah, that counts. Yep. Yeah. Help. That helps a lot. But we are here with a new game. So, if anyone's been watching my stream, I have played this game before, but on my alt. I made that alt so I can play like new games, like games y'all tell me to play, but I've already played it before, so it's not going to be like a brand new, fresh, exciting adventure of me going from like level one to like whatever level I decide to grind in that game until I get bored of it. But yeah, that's what that alt is for. So this is a Yu-Gi-Oh game, and I'm super happy because after Dimension Duels got taken down, I was so hurt because I played Roblox a lot, and having that game was just so nice, just walking around like, bro, who wants to duel me? So I was like, you know what? Let me go on my main account and let's go play it. So I can show you guys what's about. Because it's a very good game. I can't lie. Like, the map is trash in all honesty. I have to be honest. Like, we're moving the game. I believe in honesty. Me and Blunt. The map is trash. But it's getting a big update. So I'm thinking, like, maybe the map where you get, like, a big revamp. Like, it's where you be sexy. So, let's hop into the game. But wait. Hold on, bro. We are missing something. Wait. I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. Real draft. Ah, I knew we just had to find it, man. Sheesh. I don't know how we keep forgetting that. Damn. But as you can see, this is what the loader screen looks like and stuff. And the dual disc looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice. And we got like 7,000 diamonds or crystals or astral. What am I kidding? I have played this game before. This looks. I've, I've played this game a while, so let me stop adding them. So, oh yeah, I was running my time. Cool. Oh, what deck do we want to use? Um, oh, so we get like one starter deck. Choose your two starter deck. Oh, so we get two. Um, so we get two starter decks. Two. Okay. Not quite sure which one I want though. Um, I think I'll get the Dragon's Roar and Zombie World. Okay, so we get more for load for long into the game. I forget. So yeah, the map there's not nothing really too special, like nothing too special at the moment. Now you got Dual Academy, you got NPCs that sell you stuff. But I'm, I'm let me show you guys where you can just go to the NPC where you can just look up cards that you want and buy them individually. This is basically like the Dimension Duels that's coming back. But I, I think the Dimension, the people that made Dimension Duels are going to like make it again. They just haven't told us like when it's coming out. That's why I'm in the Discord. So um, yeah, you come here, you go straight, turn here, talk to this guy. You can search up cards you need and then you can get them. Uh, let me actually show you guys. So these wild cards, they mean they can fill in for when you don't have enough of these. So basically like, say if I didn't have 500 crystals, I could use one wild card right there and then we give it to you so yeah but if you don't want like a specific card or like you just want to be like oh let me try my luck you know you can try to get booster packs and they switch every so often so let me show you guys like the dual arena this is one of them like doesn't this look nice like this looks nice it's just like the outside map is trash See, it makes no sense all right let's head out wow backward so then you have more sellers here, but you can just go buy everything you want from the other guy. So, let me show you. This, uh, ooh, yeah. So, clans, you can join a clan if you want. I believe, like, in the Discord, they have tournaments and stuff like that. I personally don't think I'm going to join one. So, yeah. So, this is dual. You can choose whichever you want. It'll show you what deck you have equipped before you do it. You choose normal duels, and you can, like, exclude things like, you know, fusion, no synchro. No link, or be like you can be like, nope, just air, just nothing but fusion, nothing but fusion. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh rules. Or you can just like pick whatever you want. You know, you can just pick everything. You can do a free frog, you can do a tag doll, you can do whatever, pretty much whatever you want. And if you jump, wait, if you jump into it, wait. I please check your card limits to your deck. Oh, so. Let me go turn it up. So, they say you got sound. You can turn your sound up if you want. I'm 
just gonna turn off. I'm just gonna turn off the music though. You got the rule box shop, you know, you can buy gravities and you can ride badly for them. Unless you jump in the air and start duels, you know. It's kinda stupid, honestly. Maximum deck slots, that's kinda that's kinda useful. Custom sleeve, you know. Look nice. And then full inventory. Owning this game pass means that you will always own three copies of every card in the game. I'm considering getting that now that I think about it. Cause that'll mean Ooh, that'll mean I can Ooh. Oh, I gotta think on that one. Hey, I might buy that. If you guys really want me to, I might buy that one. That that's kind of interesting. So yeah, you can buy crystals. Or like once you already choose your other structure decks, you gotta pay for the other one, so. Yeah, they're all 100 Robux a piece. Yep. 100 Robux a piece. Concept. Okay, so this is what the deck thing looks like. Pretty cool, right? And little gym stuff like that. And you can choose whichever sleeve you want. Personally, I'm going to start a sleeve. Shows you which deck you got. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. These are at zero? My guy, what did people do with these cards for them to get. for them to be banned? Alright, so if you click on a card. And then right click it or double click it, it will remove the card. So, how to remove some of those. It shows your extra deck. And then if you long press on something, I think that will move to your side deck. I'm not quite sure how long. Oh, there we go. There you go. See, back. See, it's back. It's back there now. So, um, yeah, I basically show you guys all the fun. Oh, I didn't show you guys like the fun thing we're doing. Hmm. Hmm. No, no, think about. It. Oh wait, I gotta add two cards to this so I can like at least duel somebody. So um, let me add. What should I add real quick? So I don't get completely demolished. Oh, when I get these, how I get these? That looks so cool. Oh, divine serpent, yeah. J just yeah. You don't get nothing else. Just yeah. What's his effect? I ha I have never seen. I didn't know this was actually like a real card. You can pay happy life special on this card. Can I be targeted by card effects? If this card attacks an opponent during battle. Wait, if this card attacks an opponent's monster during the damage step, only negate the effects of the face of monster. Oh, wait a minute. What this do? Also, its attack becomes half its original when it's turned. This card battles during the battle calculation. You can make this card's attack become equal to the highest original attack on the field. Damn! So if I got like a 4K beater, he he'll gain 4K. I mean, there's infinity in the show, but we know why that's not allowed. We know why, because we make broken combos and can't have nice things. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know how I have any of this stuff. I mean, I got the structure decks. That's what I did do. I'm gonna add two of these. Hey, get out of there. All right, so I'm just gonna save this. All right, so let me like show you guys the function real quick. Okay, so let me just, let me just show you guys. Duel, can't duel here for Kaliza though. All right, hold on. God dang it, hate this. Yeah, let me just go somewhere real quick so nobody tries to duel us yet. All right, so let me show you guys the control. So I'm just gonna go normal duel. It'll show you Quang when someone goes over there. It'll like show them like a little overlay of what setting the duel's in, what's not allowed, like fusion or singles or whatever BS. If it's a free for all, if it's a tag team, if it's a tag team, like three pills to show up, one near you on the other side so let me start I, I let me start this without it so you have your field here and you can barely see it. Jesus Christ you can barely see it. let me try to go somewhere else real quick hold on let me let me try to go somewhere else so you guys can see it better because I want you guys to be able to like see how it look I don't think I can go in here I can't go in here can I ah, damn that didn't like that didn't stop but let me like oh yeah let me explore some more so, basically, oh wait, I can't go in there. This is not from that way. So I think, who's doing that? Was that the obelisk deck? 
That was the, no, that was Slifer. Yeah, this was this was Sli there was uh, no ah, I'm getting mixed up. This is Raw Yellow Dorm. That was Slifer Red Dorm, and that's Obelisk. I mean, yeah, Blue Obelisk. Let me like go over here. Yeah, this be a perfect place to show you guys. This be a perfect place. Okay. Get oh wait. All right, it should it should show up pretty nicely here. Pretty nicely. This looks nice. Okay, so here's your zone. I'm gonna explain, basically explain the basis of Yu-Gi-Oh to you people. Okay, so before a duel, you often want to like call heads or tails, or roll of dice. So let's just say heads, and then like, and then when you guys decide to order, then you draw five cards. Okay, so as you can see, there are three types of cards. You have monster card, spell card, and trap card. Trap cards. Okay, so yeah, that's how you make it place it face down. So. Trap cards, before you use them, they have to be set on the field for one turn. You can't pop them out because they're traps. You lay a trap and someone falls into it. That's how they work. So, say, like, I put this down on my turn, then my opponent switches. Then it, it goes to my opponent's turn. And he tries, like, to attack or do what the card says. I'll just be like, you press the I. You click on the I. I'll be like, oh, I activate the tune of Mask. It's been set for one turn, so now I can use it. Spell cards, you can just pop them out whenever you want. But, some spell cards have special effects, like this. This card is an equipped card. Meaning, I would need a monster on the field to equip it to. Then you have other spells that are called continuous, which stay on the field and have a current, have a, um, overlasting effect until they leave the field. Then you have other ones that just say normal, where you just use them, then they're gone, like boom. I just used it, bam, I just used my spell, and now it's gone. Then you have field spells, which will go in this zone over here. They stay there, and then they have, like, various effects depending on what archetype or the type of deck you're running. Okay, so monster cards, see, this is the monster zone. You have one, two, three, four, five. Five monster zones. Then you have, that's the complicated zone. I'm going to explain that later. So, you can set, you can play five monsters in total and five spells and traps in total. You can't go over that limit, no matter what. I mean, the most you can have is six monsters if you have a link monster, but I, I have those things. So, monsters, they have levels on their cards. Whatever their level is, shows you if they need a tribute to be summoned or not. So, let's say I'll summon these two. These two are below level four. This is level four. These two are below level four, so they don't require tribute, but um, let me show you guys real quick. What card is here? Is there any like level five or something? Okay. Okay, let me add it to my hammer. And I'm gonna add it to my hand. I'm gonna explain the controls in a minute, but I wanna like explain the basics of you get to someone too. So Okay, so you see how we have level five and six in our hand. Level five through six requires one tribute mon you need to tribute one monster. Okay, now let me explain like other basics for I'm skip. Okay, so if it's your turn and you play a monster you cannot tribute summon that turn unless you have some effect that says you can because this is called a normal summoning when you place a card on the field just regular without any effect or anything just place on the field that's called normal summoning normal summoning takes up your tribute summoning and your set for that turn set would be like taking the card and putting it face down in defense mode this is defense mode in defense mode if someone attacks you if they destroy your monster you don't take any damage and if they attack and they can't beat it it just flips over it just flips over like this and it just be still being defensive so say if you had this uh let me turn this face up real quick say if you had this card on the field for one turn your previous turn and now it's a new turn you can send it to the graveyard to tribute summon to summon this guy or that guy but then for other monsters let me just use him for example because he's like this one he needs two tributes so you would need two monsters on the field send them both to grave to summon him except except by his effect you would only need one monster so basically yu gi -Oh! is all about knowing the basics and then reading your cards to make sure they flow together and that you can understand what they do properly because if you have a deck that doesn't, ha doesn't have any synergy or any backbone to it, 
you're just going to get wrecked. And that's probably going to happen a lot if you're new, but then you'll get used to it. You'll figure out what deck's for me, what deck isn't for me, what do I like to do, do I like to make people mill cars, do I like to do life point damage without attacking them, do I like to be defensive, it's basically like your preference and play style. It's a deck for you, no matter what you want. You combine cards, some cards, they may not directly be related to each other, but they sync, they sync with each other very heavily. So, let me, alright, let me show you guys like the regular control. So, when you go over the field, if you click on that, that's how you make a token. And there's buttons on here. This plus and minus, these are for counters. This hand is to add it back to hand. You can't add a token to hand. This is how you rotate it. And then this is how you would either make it face up or make it face down. So, you want to make sure you always are over here so you can like either place a card face down when you need to or place one face up when you want to okay now we come over here you click on the question mark you can roll dice flip a coin randomly select the card in your hand or shuffle your deck this is how you forfeit either you can leave the duel or start siding if you click on this this is how you check your field this is how you check like your graveyard and your band is over. so this is mine you can like say if it was another player you can like switch and go see theirs if you wanted to basically and then you can like click on stuff you can either banish it or you can add it to hand you know whatever and if you click on this this is how you draw but if you right click on it it will show you like reveal your hand or reveal draw or mill a card or banish top face down you know okay the banish zone you don't see because when a card is banished most of the time, it's unusable. But nowadays, you go, you have crazy cards that'll be like, "Oh, you banish us? Oh, we love that." This deck's like, "Oh, I love that. You banishing me? I love it. I love it." So, like, yeah, basically, I just taught you all the control, basic bunch of stuff. And then, oh, up here, life points. So, you don't have to change that at all. All you have to do is like type in a number and then enter, and make sure you're on the right one. That's for make sure you click on this. That's addition. Click on this. Subtraction. Basically. So, I'm going to leave this duel. I basically showed you all the basics, and I taught you the basics of Yu-Gi-Oh! For now. Like, let me show you. Let me go see if I can get a card real quick. Because I wanna, I'm going to show you, like, how um, the extra deck monsters work. Because extra deck monsters... Are, are they're special summoning they don't count as like tribute or normal summoning. they're special summoning. special summoning doesn't there's no restraint to how much you can special summon in one turn unless a card says so like unless it says if you summon this card you can only special summon like ma you can only you cannot special summon except this certain attribute or this certain type but yeah okay so i can explain them all fusion monsters they're monsters where you either need a polymerization card or other type of fusion card, or just some of them be like, you can just send these cards to the grave. You need the certain requirements on that card to like, you need to send them to the grave or send them back to deck or whatever, and you fusion summon. That's fusion summon. It's quite easy. Let me show you guys. Where the hell is that? It's over. It's over there. Yeah. Okay. So, let me show you guys what a fusion card looks like. Oh, sorry, Ali. If you see this, yeah, some of them like have certain requirements, stuff like that, like must be fusion summon. When it says must be fusion summon, that means it needs like a polymerization or some fusion card. And then you need the requirements. It says one gem knight plus pyro type monster. So you need requirements of that. This takes like five. This takes one year. Yeah, basically. No thanks. Doing a video. No thanks. Doing a video. So basically, you see, like, he has simple requirements, which is the Black Forest plus Lady of Faith that yeah and then brave you know basically they all have the requirement stuff like that you see and then synchro monsters basically they um okay so for synchro monsters you need what's called a tuner monster like this yes you need a tuner monster for, for fusion monsters the levels of the monsters you're fusing don't matter they don't matter at all you can fuse literally any levels with each other boom get the monsters you want 
but for synchro monsters, you need the uh, right level and the certain monsters on the card or certain needed requirements in order to summon them. So, say if I want to summon this, I would need one tuner. It could be any level. As long as the overall, the equal level of both monsters I'm synchroing equals the level of eight, I can summon. So, for this, I would need one tuner monster and then one non tuner dark pendulum monster or monsters. So, yeah, basically it's easy. Like, there's a bunch of tuner monsters. See, you have like a level 6 tuner monster, level 1, level 2. Then you just got a bunch of synchros that have their own requirements. So, it's all about level. For synchroing, the level matters. The, it, the, when you tune a monster with another monster, the level has to be equal. I mean, mm, let me stop. The combined level must be equal to what you're trying to summon. And you must have the requirements, you know. Exceed summoning. Exceed summoning is like the easiest to explain out of all these. Okay, so for C summoning, all you need to do is overlay. For overlay, all you need to do is have two or more monsters of the same level or of the needed requirement on the Xyz monster. So if I have, let me see, this requires three level four light monsters. All I would need is three level four light monsters. That's it. They have to be on the field. For any of these special summonings, they have to be on the field, except fusion summoning. Fusioning can be in hand. And sometimes, sometimes, people can synchro from graveyard. But that's complicated. You can learn that shit on your own. I ain't no damn guru. I ain't really explaining that to you. See this? Two level one monsters. Simple. Easy. Two level four. Three level ten. Or sometimes, some monsters have like a previous form. You can like have rank up cards. Learn it on your own. I can't teach you all that. Can't hold your hand to all of this. Pendulum summing. Oh, shit. Okay. Pendulum monsters are complicated. So, you see how the pendulum monsters have like these numbers on the side? Because if you set them to spell a trap card zone, if you set two, say if I have like a scale one monster, the level doesn't matter if you set them in scale. Let me say that. The number does, the level, their level does not matter. Doesn't matter. They can be like level 10, you just put them in the pendulum zone. They count as spell or trap cards now. They are not on the field, technically. So, you can't like attack with them, somebody you can use their effects like their spell or traps. So, pendulum monsters are made like for pendulum summoning. Pendulum summoning is basically if I have a scale one monster, if I have like a pendulum, I have two pendulum set, one scale one, one scale ten. I can special summon from my hand or extra deck, let me explain that in a bit, as many monsters as I want or can that's in between a level. So if it's level, if the scales are one, ten, I can special summon anything from two to nine. Basically. Okay, so when pendulum monsters are destroyed, they don't go to the graveyard. They go face up to the extra deck. And then from the extra deck, they can be special summoned back. Basically. So if it's so if a pendulum monster is in your hand on an extra deck, and it's in the, if it's within the scale leveling, it can be special summoned back. So pendulums are really annoying to you. But they can be banished, and I think for fusion summoning, they're either sent back to the extra deck or they're sent to the graveyard. I'm not quite sure. But, yeah, just one more thing to explain to you guys. Okay, so, links. Oh, boy. Okay, so, their markers don't mean sh Okay. To say this simply, in the new rule of Yu-Gi-Oh, they, links don't really matter anymore. I mean, they still matter for, like, calm and stuff, but now they don't matter. So, for link monsters, all you would have to do is just send their requirements to the grave. You would just need two, you just need their requirements. So this needs two dragon or winged beast monsters except tokens. Some mon some link monsters can be summoned with tokens. So for this one you need two spellcasters. For this one you would need two or plus monsters with different names. You would need for this you need two zombie monsters. Two or more zombie monsters. But you see the link. So normal effect monsters. I mean, okay. So monsters not from the extra deck only count as one link. So, you see the link at the bottom? This says Link 2. I'll need two monsters. You see this? It says Link 2. I'll need two monsters. This says Link 4. So, I'll need four monsters. Or, if it's from an extra deck, I'll need two regular monsters and then one extra deck monster. Because extra deck monsters count as two links. They count as two links. I'm saying it again. Two links. Every link monster has a different effect depending on its markers. So, if a monster or something is pointed towards markers, Breaker's effects can happen. That's up to you. Figure that up for yourself. That's the, that depends on the deck you run. So, yeah. 
And then Link monsters, they can be summoned in their own special zone, which is usually these middle ones. Thank you guys for being right here. Usually these middle ones, or they can be summoned in an um, special room. But you don't really need to put them there anymore because Links really aren't that important anymore. So yeah, I explained basically everything you needed to know about Yu-Gi-Oh! And I explained the controls of this game. So I hope you guys check this game out because it is super fun and it's, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! based. Like, do you know how many role plays you can do with this, my guy? We really have like dark signers and such shit running around. Like, you know how fun it is? I'm getting an idea to start a role play in this game, but not now. Not today. Not today. But thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you guys watch my streams because we be lit on there. And um, I just be, I stream a lot more than I upload videos because I have to record a bunch of stuff. And then edit them and then put them on YouTube, which takes a long ass time. That's like two to three hours for one video. But I'm probably going to spoil you guys today and try to double upload. So, yay. Love. Fuck you guys. You know what? I don't want you niggas like that. I love everyone that watches my content supports me. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. It really does help me out more than you know. Go follow me on Twitch because I stream every day. Turn on post notifications, all that stuff. Turn on notifications for YouTube too. You have to hit receive all notifications in order to get it consistent. So, oh yeah, feel free to comment. My Discord will be in the description. You can talk to me there. I know I sound like a 16 year old, but leave me alone. I'm 18. I don't need you guys give me my recognition of my age. You know what? I don't know what I was saying. I'm tired. So, uh, I'll see you guys later. Remember, the golden rule. <clears throat> Only have one or more waifu or she will destroy your life, boo. <laughs> oh, that shit never gets old. Alright, bye guys.